Welcome back to more Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls. I noticed in the last two parts the audio was a little uh, wonky, the sound effects were way too loud. So I tweaked the audio levels a little bit, hopefully that helps out and then you can actually hear me. At the blue building in the business district, right? When Toko's being played, obviously you probably won't be able to hear me over in-game dialogue, but that's probably intentional. I try to be quiet during most of the in-game dialogue. Yeah, we need to get there for now. Hey, it's more of these stupid little kids. What? What do you want? <laughs> I challenge you to a treasure hunt. You look like a dummy, so I'll be nice and give you a hint. The treasure boxes drawn on the map... Shouldn't it be the treasure boxes are drawn on the map? Whatever, they're dumb kids. There are three letters written on the treasure box. X, T, and L. The odd box with the letter that looks like L but has an X is the real one. That's it. End of hint. QED. I wish you the best of luck. What does QED mean? Am I the dummy? Holy crap. <laughs> Fuck off, kid. You can't seriously be thinking. W weren't we going to the subway station? Well, either way, do whatever you want. Why is Kamaru so affected by this one kid with the weird challenge? Why does she care? I mean, I don't. Okay, go to the subway station. Unless, I mean, maybe there's a good item in the treasure chest. I'm fed up with going to the subway. Didn't we already go there before? We should be going for something more like a woman's ultimate happiness. You could think about your marriage to Biakia later. Never forget. Why is this trash can open? Uh, Damn it. Stop. Oh, is that supposed to be a treasure chest? Shoot. Fuck off. No, 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 no. He's so close. I've only seen so much ammo shooting at this dude. Oh, maybe I had to use, like, detect on it to see the treasure chest. Which way am I supposed to go? This way, which means I want to go this way first. First sound of the alarm. Shit. How'd I get flanked? Toko! Aren't you, like, watching my back? The fuck, girl? Toko. Don't worry, I've got this handled. This coin pickup sound sounds exactly like the uh, Mario coin pickup noises. Alright, I better get ready with like a knockback. Or something, because I'm this is probably the wrong treasure chest. All those enemies have gotta be a false flag. The ore looks suspicious. Could it be that the letters have something to do with the paths drawn here? You look no. really pumped for this. I don't think this is right either. Because it needs to look like an axe. Uh, I messed up again! No, I knew it wasn't it, but just give it up already. No. There's sweet XP involved in killing that thing. Ooh, what's in here? It's another arcade machine room. This is the most hidden goodies of any level so far, I feel like. A whole hidden level? Or have there been hidden Monokuman levels the whole time and I'm just bad? That's also a possibility. I'm gonna get myself killed trying this. The shield ones are everywhere. It'd be a shame to miss defeating some. Is that water? This is destroy them all with electricity. If it's water, it should be easy. I just gotta lure that guy onto here. Yeah, if that's water, this is easy. If it's not, then I'm fucked. I 
no, 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 no. Don't go! needed to be done. So is this not water? No, it's not. Holy shit. Alright, now it's suddenly a lot harder. If I activate this move first, it probably triggers that guy too. No, it just triggers that one, huh? I get those <laughs> what that's not gonna give me a mission complete it looks like I oh, zapped everybody is it because I got spotted you have to do stealth mechanics to get credit for the uh, completion oh this is water but yeah you got to shoot somebody in the water for it to work okay that's probably why I didn't count though whatever who cares I've already missed so many it doesn't matter this isn't even close to the right way to be going, right? The green one's probably the one that actually has- Really? I thought the green one would be the one to go. <laughs> Sorry, Toko. I guess it was too obvious, right? That the green one? Super studying technique? What does that do? XP obtained increases greatly. I mean, okay, I have so many extra SP because I'm not using any of the sight skills. I like the aiming skills? Because I'm playing on PC, so I really don't need them. I can see how if you were playing on the uh, PSP, those skills are like essential to beating this game, but on PC, it's, it's just not even relevant. Honestly, what does XP do for me though, other than give me more skill points? to use, even though I'm not even using all of the skills. I really don't get what it could be for. Oh well. Doesn't hurt to have more of it. Not like it's costing me anything. Okay, that's where I came from. That's a dead end, and I already went there, so I guess I do have to progress now. But you know what? I bet you the last the treasure chest is probably in the uh, cow area, where I was originally forbidden to go. Or it's behind this thing. Which just looks like a bullshit wall. I should be able to just knock that down. But I've shot it with knockback before and it didn't fall down, so... Is this another challenge or is this a comment about how I failed the treasure chest thing? Burn. <laughs> is that a new kind of bullet? This looks pretty useful. Oh, burn probably burns down those walls. Yeah, you're right. What was that dialogue about? It's not too late for a tutorial. It appears you have obtained burn. Burn is a truth bullet that, you know, burns off Monokuma's generator device. It has a high rate of fire, so it's perfect for shooting at enemies who move swiftly. It's downright awesome against those beast Monokumas. I think it would also be really good against enemies who are running straight at you. Go try it out. I, sh I knew it. I knew I was about to get <laughs> bum rushed by something. And here we are. They came from the cow factory. That Monokuma is flying? Okay, we're getting pretty far from the whole bear concept here. Oh. What the? Oh, do they suicide at me? I just want to let these guys have it. I'm too used to doing the break mechanic or the break shot stuff where I'm uh, taking time to aim. But if this gun fires, you know, like a machine gun, I might as well just light the uh, torso up. I don't need to go for the head anymore. See, this is more of like a precision rifle. You know, you want to stop, think about your shots with break. <laughs> Damn it! Where, that was, there were only three treasure chests. That was the third one. Is it because I didn't 
pick them in the right order that it didn't do anything for me. Damn. I didn't think it would be that strict. Whatever. To the cows! We got going on down here. You're gonna give me burn rounds. I just used a bunch. Dance ammo. F oh, great. Thank you. That's what I wanted. There's a lot of small Japanese style bars. Can you drink alcohol, Toko? Or are you underage? Jeez. No need to bring up such a touchy subject. No one's underage. No one is underage in this game. Tomorrow can drink alcohol. Hey, buddy. That worked out. I'm a real big fan of the uh, headshots. He's like shooting things in the eye. I've gone down that side alley. Probably, because this is, well, I mean, it's not a dead end. It's probably where I need to go. I wonder what all these signs say. Here's one of the, uh, stickers. I love how often I accidentally discover these. I never, like, intentionally discover them. If that makes sense. Yeah. Makes them so easy to shoot. Wait, I'm not wasting a bunch of break or burn ammo by hitting them with dance. I don't know why they're all facing the wrong way, though. This is the right way to go. Yeah. I love going the wrong way, because then you get all the cool collectibles and stuff. Almost feels like cheating using that. I mean, this is for them. The last thing I need is for them to suicide bomb me, especially when I'm low on health. Oh, it probably doesn't matter. I bet you both ways of the bar ended out here. Oh no. This is different. Oh, there's even an item over here. So lingers the ocean. Oh, it's by Toko. Popular female author Toko. The long-awaited unabridged version. The love that is far too pure for the main character, me and the fisherman, you. An indubitably foray into inner peace at the skillful, skillful stroke of a pen. Popular female author Toko Fukawa's most renowned work, the long-awaited unabridged version. Oh, we're gonna talk about it. Ah, this is... What? That's right, it's my novel. Got a problem with that? Amazing! No, not at all. I'm really impressed. I've read this. It was sad and really good, too. I can't believe it. You were the writer of So Lingers. Don't mess with me! So lingers, you're abbreviating the title of the book I wrote to my face. And of course it's really good. Who do you think wrote it? <laughs> As expected of the ultimate writing prodigy, you sure have confidence. But... But I mean, if you can write a beautiful romance like this, you can definitely marry Byakuya. Are you an idiot? What's written in there is pure fantasy. There's no way I can act like that in reality. Why not? Oh, really? Hmm. What I write in my novels is my idea of an ideal world. Because I know it will never be reality, I have to write it in fiction. Hmm? So you write it because you can't have it, but don't most writers write from experience? Nothing. Not necessarily. My theory is that happy people can only write happy, shallow novels. But the downtrodden can vividly imagine their ideal world, perfectly envision true beauty. And that's the spirit that I put into my novels. Hmm. Well, I kind of get that, but I kind of don't. Wow. But based on my theory, I wonder if I can keep writing interesting novels. Hmm? Hmm? What do you mean? She's happy now that she has a friend in you, Kumaru. Like I said. Like I said, I'm concerned. If I have a friend like you and I'm happy... Could it be? So you mean making friends with me made you a little happier? What? Don't mess with me! No, there's no way a crybaby schoolgirl like you could actually interfere with my writing. You underestimate the intensity of my novels. 
But you said it yourself. <laughs> well, if you're that confident, I'm sure you'll be just fine. Neat. Is this another Mon Monaco man? It's that arcade machine again. This is just the episode of us going off on side quests here, huh? This is game over, though. Did I already fuck this challenge up? There must be a whole bunch of these. I need them all to blow. Destroy them all with one explosion. Probably gonna hit dance when they're right there, right? When they cross paths. Oh, is that my treasure chest too? Got it. Hmm. Easy. Okay. Oh. Shit, they don't come over this way. We can recover this. I think. <laughs> no, we can't. I'm fucking it up. Why does the camera like freak out if I get shot? I really thought those guys were gonna come over and rush me. They didn't though. Oh, I thought they were all gonna live through that. Yeah, 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 I fucked up the challenge. I thought dance would, like, attract them all over to where I shot, though. It really didn't. They just kind of were like, oh, cool. Just the one guy stopped moving. Which really limits its viability, I feel like. What the heck are you doing? How is this not the one? Up the wall for me, please. Thank you. Demon name Marafuris Fujioko Yamada, a manga artist demon who made Tara Star Spy. Before you kill it, make it write lots of manga and put you in a comic book. And if it complains, choke it to make it do what you want. It likes to draw naked pictures of boy demons, so give it plenty of bodies to draw. Oh. Alright then. Thank you for that, Foray. To our Rule 34 artist for this game. The ultimate Rule 34 artist. I bet you that's in some fan fiction for this game. Right? That was that dude. He was the ultimate. <laughs> He's fucking it with a stick. I don't know why I thought that was so funny. Could it be? I wonder if those kids were also treated cruelly by their parents. Even if they were, would it matter? Even if their parents were murdered, it doesn't give them the right to kill people. You're right, no matter the reason, it's just unforgivable. But doesn't the helmet, like, make them do it? Not just that, it's peculiar. I don't doubt the ringleaders had terrible childhoods. But I can't think of any reason for all these other kids to suddenly be motivated to kill. The helmets. So why are the other children going along with this? You're right. I have a bad feeling about this. Or if you watch the Danganronpa, the end of Hope's Peak Academy anime, you'll have all the answers. So tune into that. It's actually really good. I think some people give it too much shit. Maybe it's because I really like the uh, franchise too much, but. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I won't spoil anything from it. I think I've talked about it in probably my V3 playthrough a little bit. If they bunch up near the car, we can defeat them all in one go. I actually probably I just have to destroy them with electricity. So what I actually probably want to do, hmm, I hit move on that. If you just destroy them all with electricity, you don't really have to... Oh no, I don't want to destroy them with the car. What I want to do is trigger that to move first. Oh wait, shit. Did that move? Uh, and I only have one electricity around left. And 
I zap myself. <laughs> this has gone swimmingly. I don't have enough ammo for this challenge. Hey, Toko. It's, uh, your Here you go. I fucked this up pretty hard, so... She put- oh, she does shoot while you're, uh, just talking. Activate this car. And then they'll all know to come around the other way. I fucked this up real hard. I didn't realize I only had one paralyzed shot, and I also should have thought about how the car doesn't despawn. That was my big fuck up. I thought the car would disappear after I shot it. Look at that one dude. Jesus. Yeah, I fucked that up pretty hard. But I gotta level up. Had I known that the car didn't despawn, I think this would have been a lot easier. Or, you know, as easy as I expected it to be originally. Suddenly there was a degree of difficulty added. Jesus. How come that normally triggers that to blow up? This time it didn't? Yeah, what I fuck up last <laughs> How'd I miss that last time? Whatever. I did it! I solved the riddle! By just opening every treasure chest! Easy. I believe I can handle this riddle myself. Well, good, because I wasn't planning on helping anyway. Figured it out. Easy. Battle skill. What is that? Hopefully something about making me more tanky. Kamaro can run even when the hacking gun is ready. Nice! That's really good. Now we can strafe around these fucks. Easy mode. Did I just do a full lap around? Now I don't even remember which path I originally went down. In the cow alleyway. Did I just go straight ahead? No, I went to the left. So the real path must be straight ahead. Whoopsie. Look at this. We can still run with the gun out. I mean, you do go a little bit slower, but... That'll be so easy to strafe now, because I can just always hold down shift. That, ladies and gentlemen, is an actual good ability. I went down that way already. At least I'm pretty sure I did. Who knows? Could end up totally fucking this. I'm going in another circle and I have to edit it all out. Ah, signs. Reliable as always. Looks like the subway is that way. The fact that she said reliable as always made me feel like it's not reliable as always. So it looks like we're supposed to go to the right there. But what's this way? Oh, a dead end because you can't. Oh, the, all the Monokuma games that I played. All right, good. I'm glad we discovered everything anyway. It always bugs me when there are like multiple paths to go in a game. I've got to check them all out. I always do. I did it in the wrong eye. Hey, they look at all the iron Monokumas. That's for the kids, right? I'm probably supposed to lure him onto that. Save some ammo. But I don't have any paralyzed rounds left. I did just aim so high. Is there another one behind me? Yeah, there is. Fuck it. I'm using burn. Does this even do extra damage to the face? Those things are so tanky. 
but you don't get any coins if you don't or if you use burn. I'm gonna keep opening these so I can get a free kill on the Monokumas. I really don't know, it's actually to waste your shots. You get XP every time you kill those. So I wanna keep opening them up. I'm just gonna ignore all of those. Oh no, it's probably related to a game. Because here's the Monokuman room. This arcade machine is everywhere, isn't it? No. No, 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 no. Alright. Manaku man. The Monokuma kid has to be hiding here somewhere. Listen for the singing to find the brat. Find the kid without getting caught? So we can't go straight ahead. Oh, I hate these. It's so hard to hear the, the kid. If I just kill all of the... Be careful so we don't get caught. Yeah, turn around, dude. It's none of those. This is risky. Uh, we got caught! Who caught me? What are you doing? That one wasn't looking at me. chance of finding him? Will it show me? Oh, no. If we gotta kill everybody, I might as well use both batteries. He really wasn't facing me. Though. I don't understand who caught me. door didn't open up, so I must not have killed- oh, I didn't kill him all. Hey, buddy. I'd use up too much of the battery, though. Might actually need it later. Definitely have enough for an upgrade now. I've been collecting these coins more so than Mario, baby. Oh yeah, this is where I'm going. Hey, speaking of which, here's a shop. What do you got for me? Welcome. I think just another battery efficiency is always really good. Because that means I can just use it longer. Attack speed. Increase the speed of attacks. Also seems pretty good. Charge attack power. Charge attack becomes stronger. It's already pretty strong and sometimes it's really hard to charge up the attack. I guess we'll just increase the number of combo attacks. I don't actually press the F button to attack, I use left mouse button. So hopefully that's what it's referring to. We've almost fully leveled Toko up, not bad. Thanks for your business. This is such a weird save station. It's gotta be like ranking all time on weird save stations. I mean these games are just weird in general, so I guess it doesn't really we have count. to find somewhere we can get into the sewer. Hey Kamaru? Before we do that, there's something I want to know. Hmm? What about? Uh, um, you said I'm your friend? Jeez, we're still on this? I did say that. Why do you ask? But I've been thinking it over, and I have to tell you, my number one is still master. Why? What has Byakuya done for you? Um, okay. But something like that, that's no good, right? Thinking you're not as important as someone? Toko, do you know what friends are? No. D don't patronize me! It's a relationship where people talk about love and go eat sweets together on weekends. 
become estranged when one of them gets a lover, then they learn to move past it and have... Well, that's kind of right, but friends are more like... Please, come on, give me a lesson in friendship. What? Never mind. I don't know. What the hell? Talk to me here. Well, I don't think you have to really define it right now. Just act like you normally do. But that's just... It's hard for me to accept it. It doesn't feel real. Am I supposed to feel sad for Toko now? Am I annoying, Kamaru? The way I am now? Don't I annoy you? I, I couldn't be friends. Well, how about this? Can I call you Toki? No. Who the hell is that? It'll be your nickname. Oh, I... I've never been called by a nickname before. Well, other than insults. And serial killer. Never? Not even as a kid? Well, I hope we get along together, Toki. <laughs> Didn't her parents, like, abuse her? Did she have some weird path as well that could have ended making her end up as one of the ultra mid despair kids? She, like, just narrowly avoided it. What happened, Toki? Are you okay, Toki? Uh, it, it's fine. I will withstand it. I will go through this horrible friendship ritual. Now, say it again. Say it one more time. I will not retreat. Toki? No, no. No, it's... it's too much. It's too cringy. Never mind. I'm just gonna call you Toko again. Yes, thank you. The friendship was far too intense. <laughs> That's a sprite with that quote. All right. It was far too intense for me as well. I couldn't handle the cringe. Just kidding. Oh, hey. Why does that lady look, look like she's carrying a weapon? She kind of is. She's got a crowbar. What's up? <laughs> yes, I did it. Um. What did you do? I killed a child and destroyed a Monokuma all by myself. Toa is safe now. There's no need to hide anymore. All right, so this lady went nuts, but all the flowers coming off of her makes it seem like she's having a great day. You no longer need to worry about your families and friends being killed because I'm gonna do it. You no longer need to see others killed. Aha, you should all be grateful, cry in tears of joy that I've saved you all. She's completely gone. Who's she preaching to? I mean, I guess if you're insane, you don't really think about who you're preaching to. You're just kind of preaching. <laughs> My husband and daughter didn't die in vain. Thanks to them, I know Monokuma's weakness. Their deaths have been avenged. Oh, that's sad. I, it makes it worse when they point out why the people are, have, have gone insane, not because they are insane, but because they've gone through something like horrible. I witnessed my husband and child die, and so now I'm gonna try to find a way to justify it, make sure it's not in vain so I don't go insane, even though she already has. I think it's best to just leave her be. You're right. Yeah, sometimes it's better not to wake up from a dream. Yikes. Could have had a feeling about that one as soon as, uh, you could see the crowbar. But I thought she was gonna follow us around, maybe fight with Wasn't us for a bit. A bad idea to do that. No? I mean, I guess, because it respawned immediately. But I mean, I see an enemy, I shoot an enemy. You know what I mean? Looks like we can't go any further. Let's head oh. back. Oh. Because we're gonna have to lure the bomb guy over to this, aren't we? The bomb inside her, number three. Yumi Kayakakuda, the girl with a bomb in her womb, cannot love, and yet she has chosen. I want to fall in love with Shota. If I can just fall deeper in love with him, I don't mind if this body of mine burns away. Is she Android 18? However, a new character who has feelings for Yumi appears. Motomoto Nikiado. Your life isn't only yours, my love is only mine. A charred body of love or a living doll? Which fate will Yumi choose? The third volume of the fiery love story. Toko! Hey, are you the type who's okay with spoilers? No. What's going on? What brought this on? 
Amazing! The third volume of The Bomb is so good, I gotta talk about it, but are you okay with spoilers? Don't mess with me! Okay, how many times do I have to tell you I have no interest in manga at all? So Yoko, the girl from the second volume, tries to stop Yumi from giving in to despair. Oh, there's already comics and manga about the despair event? And she says this, oh, it's so beautiful. I'm tearing up, I'm tearing up just remembering it. Oh, Yuko, oh, Yumi, Yoko, I'm so happy for you. Hey, Kamaru, come back to reality. Huh? Did you? You stopped calling me Omaru? Oh, did I? You're probably just mistaken. I, I still can't stop thinking about the, uh, the manga. So what? Is the lady, like, if she falls in love with someone, the bomb in her womb triggers? I don't understand. Toko! No, I heard right. I tried to call you Toki, and you knew that, and tried to call me by my name, right? What, you got a problem with that? You think I'm too gloomy, gloomy to have a character arc? <laughs> no, it's not that at all. It just makes me really happy. Thanks, Toki. <sighs> oh. Sorry, that slipped out on accident. You're doing it on purpose, aren't you? Alright, so how do we lure the bomb guy over to the wall here? Oh, it's not gonna explain it to me, isn't it? It looks like another present. Yeah. Oh, is there a round where I can control them? Or a truth bullet, I should say, not a round. Link. Oh, it's a rainbow. Time for a tutorial. Looks like you picked up Link. Link is a truth bullet that can control Monokumas by taking over their cyber brains. It's not really fit for combat, but that doesn't mean you can't put it to good use. For example, you can link that Bonner Mamakuma, and then use it to break open the wall. You can also release a link with the C key. Now your hacking gun can actually hack things. Use it lots. Why wouldn't it be good for combat? That sounds like really like good. Doesn't look like do any damage, but it might be of some use. Now, does it matter where I hit the Monokuma? Link. What a horrible camera angle. Oh, I can't use his weapons. That's why it's bad. Now we'll switch back to break. And blow it up. Yay! Now we can move on! That's why it's not fit for combat, because I can't force Everything him to throw his guns. If you use it right, even a Monokuma. That'd be cool if I could use its weapons. That reminds me of the weapon from Metal Arms Glitch in the System. One of my favorite games. I've done a Let's Play of it on the channel. There's a gun called the Control Tether. And if you shot in the back of enemy robots, you could take them over and then your robot disassembled. And you used that robot for a while. It was really cool. It's actually one of the very first Let's Plays I did on this channel. We gotta look for a place we can get into the sewers. Actually, one of my most viewed series on the channel too. I think it's at like 50,000 views or something for the first part. Really cool. I was always shocked by how many views I got. I also sometimes I regret it because if it had gotten more views or if I had released it later, I might have gotten more subscribers for it. Because I was one of the only people who have done a let's play through that game. And if I had better edit, because all the audio is pretty messed up, there's no webcam or anything like that, my editing's pretty bad, I forced the game to stretch from 4x3 to 6x9 for the video. So a lot of decisions I wouldn't have made, but, I mean, hey, still got a lot of views and subscribers from it, so I can't believe I got hit by one of these fucking things. But it is one of the Let's Plays I look back most fondly on. Are these still called Let's Plays, by the way? A Let's Play channel still popular enough to do that? Or should I just call them playthroughs now? Oh shit. I know there's another one of these, or another Monokuma behind me. Toko's dealing with it. Fucker. I thought he was dead. He fiend, he like fiend, like faked it. God, faked it. 
face me so I can get an eye. Why did I come in here? Just to get, like, wrecked? There was no item in here. Or did I just overlook it? There it is, I did overlook it. Jeez, you're a dirty sock. The first time you were inside me I was fine, but now I'm starting to get all loose. Oh. <laughs> so weird. This whole game is fucking weird, let's just be real. But that one in particular, man. Yikes, am I right? There's no way this ceiling is going to collapse. Right? Maybe that's a chance. There's no way they'd use the same tired plot device twice. I won't allow it. I got bad news. It's probably gonna collapse. It looks like Fallout 3 in here. Wow, that just hit me with another wave of nostalgia while playing this. Remember all the underground tunnels in Fallout? Three, anyway? I, and kind of New Vegas? But the ones in 3 looked exactly like this. This, like, gray tunnel with, like, a little bit of a greenish vibe. In New Vegas kind of had them, but not as much as 3. I didn't really play 4. I really didn't like it as much. I bet you there's a bomber Monokuma I'm supposed to take there. Use some more paralyzed rounds, buddy. Are these really the only way to get ammo? I got one link round, thanks. Instead of the completely empty paralyze I've got. Whatever. A bunch of ammo in here, though. Get some battery. I use the uh, burn on these guys because I don't need them to do the suicide rush on me. It's a dead end, right? But there's an item over there. How do I get to it? Do I just circle back around? I bet you I do. Let's check it out real quick before I go into the uh, Monokuma Arcade. Oh, yeah, you know what? I probably have to shoot him with a link from up there. Because this is blocking me from getting to him. Because there's a bom bomber Monokuma on the other side of this. Alright, this is helping me visualize the problem. Good. How long range is this thing? Can I hit him from here? It kind of sounds like the uh, Toko love scenes. That's really funny. Now, how much time do I have to get to the other side and break him? Before he walked, does he walk back to his default position, or does it not matter? He just kind of sits there idly. Always confused as to how he ended up there. Unique problem solving. This better be a cool item I'm going for. Do all this for some stupid item. I'm gonna be mad. I gotta level up for it, though. Do I ever get more, like, health points from leveling up? Because originally you started the game out with three, now we're at four. Or does it... Does it go by difficulty, how many health points you have? Or heart points, whatever you want to call them. I'm gonna call them hit points. Super quickfire skill. What does that do? We're getting a lot of skills this part. Increases laser sight move speed. Sure. Only two points. I can't even run during it. Because I assume that's what it means. It's like my aim down sight speed. Look at that. Almost no reduction in speed and aiming. Ooh. We are a force to be reckoned with now in these boss fights. I can assure you of that. Another arcade. The game corner again? No! Didn't get my paralyzed round still, so don't say defeat everything with electricity. Which it's gonna, because that's like the puzzle solving one. Do you think they will gather around the part of the wall that's gonna collapse? No. Destroy them all with one explosion. 
How long does dance last for indefinitely? So I'd have to hit them with Link. Where do I end up here? I leave here. Hit these two with Link. Fly them over here. Do the guys with the jetpacks go over the gaps? How can I tell where the ceiling collapses? Gonna be. Alright, whatever. We're gonna try it like this. Okay. I'm gonna link to that dude. And I think I hit, if I hit him with dance over here. This is what this guy does. Check this shit out. I think I got it. I think I got this figured out, right? I hit him with dance. dance. Everyone freaks out, goes over to him, right? Look at that. Oh, 3D level thinking there. Beautiful. I did it. How neat was that? I finally remembered what the, uh, Siren Monokuma do. You gotta hit him with dance. Hit him with the power of love. Does burn come back after a while? I feel like I have a fuck ton of ammo in it. And I don't remember it picking anything up for it. Is it gonna punish me? What? Okay. I wanna use break on the regular one, Kuma. Mm -hmm. I'll go back to burn. For the jetpack guys. Because they are a force to be reckoned with. No dive bombing today, boys and girls. Now being out of burn rounds, though, kind of makes me nervous. It's alright. We made it through. Isn't it just going to get item. darker if we keep going? Is it really going to be okay? Sure. Just as I thought, Haiji was right. There's a difference between courage and recklessness. My right leg got broken, my friends got killed. I was just a reckless, incompetent person. I wasn't even sent to start a fight, but just to go scouting. I hate them. I hate those brats from the bottom of my heart. I want to kill them. I want to fucking kill them all. I would seriously fucking pay to see them die. I want, I want to crush their little beating hearts with my bare hands. I want to pulverize their skulls into dust, even if it takes years off my life. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I want to kill them. I want to kill them. I want to kill them so badly, all I can do is just sit here and cry. Memoirs of an adult in the, res in the resistance. Alright, he sounds stable. Not having fallen into the despair at all. Not exactly what Junko was asking for. But look at all the vending machines here. Totally not a boss fight about to occur. I got a health item right now. Do I need to link him over to destroy that wall? I mean, it looks like I'm kind of just destroying him right there and it'll blow up. Close enough, right? Yeah, there we go. No link rounds wasted. How dangerous. Isn't that floor over there about to collapse? Yeah. It is. There's a fucking... He sees me. He's pointing at me. Or maybe that's just his animation is to be pointing. How did this guy not notice me? Hey, fucker. Not in my house, buddy. No siree. Get these coins for the despawn, then I'll go back there for the item. 
Not that I really have an intense use for them anymore. I've pretty much done all the upgrades. And I've purchased no ammo types this entire game. Or Ling. Alright, Big Brother Leon. 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 Big bro I'm not gonna say it the whole time. Big Brother Leon. Big Brother Leon. That's it. Alright. <laughs> we have Big Sis Junko and Big Brother Leon. Spoilers for Danganronpa 1. He's not a good guy. This arcade machine is everywhere, isn't it? Yeah, here we go. I think in the last part, there was a lot of them. This is really the time that we get a whole bunch of it. Alright. Maybe you can break it with an explosion? Destroy the floor with an explosion. Didn't I already do that? Oh, no. There's so many of these guys. But I've already done this before. Oh, it's kind of blocked there, though. That science is no entry for demons. Does that mean I couldn't enter there? Let's figure it out. Or does that mean the bears couldn't get there? Maybe you have to start a chain explosion by controlling something? Wow, way to give me the answer. I was literally about to start brainstorming once I realized I couldn't get over there. What I want to do is move him... I think I want to move this guy here. Because I can still shoot this one. Shit, he fell backwards. Alright, alright. That should blow up the guy I placed there. Perfect. Like little explosive dominoes we played. And now the whole roof's gonna collapse. What's below the subway? I guess the sewer system. Look at her eyes, eyes sparkle. You're awfully excited by all that destruction. You're actually a terrifying woman deep down. Toko, look! A it's convenient like ladder. Down now. I don't think that's how that would work. Wow, that sure was an impressive show. For a virgin. <laughs> what does that what? have to do with anything? I'm worried that I just cut that off. If we go down this ladder, we can that was get down to the sewers. You're just randomly calling her a virgin. Yeah, but do you really intend to go back to those guys? We're fugitives, you know? If we go back there, we'll be captured with no questions asked. Well, maybe, but maybe not. Well, probably for sure. Which one is it? If we explain ourselves, I'm sure they'll understand. We have the same That's a goal. very naive way we of thinking. We all want to stop those out-of-control kids, right? Oh. No. And if it's for that cause, I bet they'll lend us a hand. And they'll rescue Biakia, too. Also, they want to kill the kids, so technically you girls want to go out about solving this problem a different way than they do. Wow, you've changed quite a bit. You really think those spineless cowards are going to risk it and cooperate with us? It will be fine. I'm more of a coward than they are, but I'm still doing my best. Well, if you I say don't so, think you are more of a coward than them. They've literally been hiding out there this whole time. <laughs> After all, we're friends. Oh my god. You look really scary when you say that. What do you mean I'm scary? Well, you are a serial killer. With your body count, it's literally cut Fine. into your leg. Be that way. Let's just hurry up and get over there. Hey, wait, Togo! I was just kidding! <laughs> the little sim uh, the symbols on their clothing, is that like the brand or is that supposed to mean Bless something? From the very beginning. <laughs> hey, it's not it's your no time. use acting like you don't know. I heard it all! 
And now he's in trouble, considering he's bleeding out, less concerned about the fact that the kid knows. Oh, thank God somebody kicked him. Oh. Oh, we're saving this kid. Confess! You were lying to us the whole time! Kick him again. Kick him right in his fucking face. Do it! <laughs> Listen to him laugh. He's fucking nuts. Do it, kid! Hey, you guys breaking up or something? Why do that when there's plenty of other shit to break? Like Nagato's spirit. Go. Like cookies, glassware, the window at that girl you likes house. More than plenty, damn it. No, no, no. Nagato's face is the perfect example of things to break. Sh shut up! We swore to make this town into a paradise. We promised that we'd change history. Nagisa's kind of having a break from reality here. I feel bad. This guy interfered. Changing history? I don't know. You seem pretty hysterical enough to me. Also break this fucking Monokuma. Jesus. I mean, what the hell's with you, Nagisa? What's up your ass? You know what? Actually, don't answer that. I want to keep the ratings down. I don't. <laughs> you probably can't keep the ratings down after we just touched all over Kamaru Nayegi, if you know what I mean. Didn't I tell you to shut up? Ooh, Look at him go. Yeah, that's right, kid. Ooh, so scary. And what are you going to do about me? I can stomp his face and do it, Nagisa. You can become my favorite Danganronpa character. Let's go. This is your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's all your fault. Don't be mad, Nagisa. The one who sent Mr. Servant on his task was me. <sighs> oh, he's gonna fall. He's gonna give up because Monica's here to fucking twist his head with all sorts of perversions. Just do it. Give him one more good kick. Huh? He's nuts. M Monica, what did you say? You have to play Danganronpa 2 to understand. Watch my playthrough of Danganronpa 2, and you can see my genuine hatred for Nagato. It'll all make sense. Once you play that game, or watch me play through it, more specifically. Ahem. Like I said, I was the one who asked Mr. Servant to help me. What did you tell him to do? I asked him to bring Miss Kamara Nagi all the way back here. Why is she so special, though? Aren't there a whole bunch of, like, demons they tagged? You're lying, right? This is some kind of joke, right? Sorry. It's the truth. Lies. Why? Why would you do something like that? What? I guess I don't really understand why he's so worked up about it. Or her doing it, anyway. Oh, wait. No, I do. It's because them fucking with her is the opposite of the paradise thing he's looking for. She's thinking of it like a game, and he doesn't want to. That's right. Oh, I remember now. Too bad. No matter how smart you might be, you still don't understand it, huh? Cause he's technically not influenced by despair yet. He's still thinking like, we can fix this, we can make this a right world. I mean, he's definitely been influenced by despair. He's like going off the rail a little bit, but he's still on course. You know, he's doing some off-roading towards the path of a better world. But sh Monica is under the Junko desire of let's just fucking torpedo this bitch and kill everybody. But I guess that's to be expected. I never gave you a proper explanation. Explanation? What are you talking about? What needs explaining? We're going to make a paradise, right? And, and that's why we caused this revolution, right? Nope. Sorry. Monica doesn't care about paradise or anything like that. What? Oh, I guess you can say that the paradise I want and the one you want are different things. I want what Big Sis Junko wanted. I have no interest whatsoever in the paradise where kids can live peacefully. S stop kidding around, Monica! What the heck is this? Sorry, but this is all for the sake of the successor to Junko and Oshima. Huh? Successor? Doesn't she find herself to be the successor? Who's the successor then? Yes. The second generation of Big Sis Junko. That's what I'm after. Mayim is different from Mr. Servant's. 
Well, we agreed to work together at the beginning. So don't get so jealous, Nagisa. Or do they want Komaru to be the second generation to fuck with uh, Makoto? I don't understand. What are you talking about, Monica? It's fine, it's fine. You just have to keep doing your best for my sake. Right? For Monica's sake. Here we go. Huh? She's fucking with his head. She's being an abuser. <laughs> there it is. Ugh. It's disgusting. Happening here is not okay. Monica fucking pulling a Katy Perry out here. What are you doing? Being weird. You love Monica, right? You can't live without Monica, right? You love me so much. Sometimes you even have perverted thoughts about me, right? No. I guess she's not talking to me, but still, no. Just want to clear that out, clear the air, <laughs> since we're talking about kids here. Monica, right? Ooh. That is the most intimidating forward step that has ever happened in the history of anime. If you work hard, I can do other things too, you know. So you'll listen to Monica's little request, right? Poor blue haired kid, Nagisa. Gets fucking raped by Monica here. Don't come near me! Get away from me! You have such a hard time. Everyone has high expectations of you because you're so smart. And you even have high expectations for yourself. And you're always suffering from that, right? This game really- I know I've said this a whole bunch. This game really hits you with all the despair themes. I mean, maybe it's it doesn't over directly tell you that, but I'm here to tell you that's what's implied and what's written in between the lines here, by the way. Because once the screen goes black, there's a little, uh... Oof, happening here. I said, don't come near me! Oh. But Monica won't expect anything of you. What? From the very start, I never expected anything of you. That's why I kept the successor a secret. She knows that messes with his head. After all, you're just a weak, weak little child that no one expects anything from. I said get back! Maybe nobody ever expected anything of you in the first place. You probably just thought they did. Again with the repeated slapping in this game. The bleeding from the lip there. Maybe it was all a misunderstanding. Don't come near me! Get back! Get back! Just... Is this a dark thought as well? I mean, we're going down the road. Just tip her wheelchair over, man. She can't come near you anymore. Jeez, Monica, so vulgar as usual. Seriously. You hit a girl. How uncool. But Monica loves how uncool and worthless you are, Nagisa. Monica loves you most in the whole wide world. She doesn't. Don't listen to all the red flags. If you want Monica to have high expectations of you, you gotta listen to Monica's requests, okay? Because of the way his parents fucked him up, he wants people to have high expectations of him now. His parents always did. And now he's got a complex about it. That's his whole, like, hang-up. You know, like, Kotaro's gentle and, I mean, no one really cares about the other two kids. For Monica's sake, kill all the adults. Risk your life for Monica. Isn't that nice, Nagisa? 
Poor kid. Hey, Toko. What? We've been walking around the sewer so long. Do you think it'll be okay? No. What do you mean? There's still a couple more games left in this franchise. Like, is this smell gonna stick to me? I'm starting to worry I'll never get it off. Oh. Huh, sorry. You don't want me to talk about smells, do you? She always smells. No, it's just rude. Oh, the darkness is killing me. I'm sure you're fine with it, being a super girl. What does that mean? Now that's an insult I haven't heard before. That is a unique insult. You sewer girl. Next time someone's rude to me, I'm gonna be like, yeah, you fucking sewer boy. A girl's bond. Check that shit out. This is the skill episode, man. We're getting all kinds of cool skills. What, we, what else we got here? A girl's bond. An enemy paralysis time increases after despair time. I mean, sure. I don't actually know what that means, but I've got enough points to spare, so we're gonna add it. There's an item all the way down. It's alright. We'll get it in a minute. I'm sure we gotta loop around the whole sewer. The different layout, surprisingly. Oh good, we got one break shot, but still no paralysis rounds. Thank you. How to kill demons masterpiece number four. Cut off one centimeter every day so that they die super slow. And technically, if you were to go from like head down, the one centimeter wouldn't really do you. I mean, you'd kill them at the same distance. And if you were to go from the feet up, you'd kind of kill them as soon as you cut off the bottoms of their feet because of the blood. Anyway. Pour 999 degree water onto their eyeballs to kill them. Stuff them into the dryer and turn it on. Imprison a bunch of them and make them kill each other. Kill them all. Kill, 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 killy kill. Kill. Neat. Can't go this way because it's not nice. Let me just like step over them. Whatever. This is some game developer shit, by the way. You can't progress here already, but there's blocks here to prevent you just in case you glitch through that. You're like, shit. Better make another way for them to not progress this way. They're not following us this time, right? I think we're okay. I mean, they already know where it's at. They don't need to follow you anymore to go to the hideout. The problem is the adults. I don't know if they'll even listen to us. I'm sure it will be fine. If we do our best to persuade them, I'm sure it'll work out. <laughs> the former you would have been sobbing and crying out, What? Toko! Toko! <laughs> I don't talk like that! Yeah, you do a little bit. Well, even if you're bound to fail, I'll always proudly watch over you. Big Sis yeah. Toko. Just having you here by my side is reassuring. You know I was being sarcastic, right? Ah, right. If you meant it as actual encouragement, then you're the one who's changed. That'd be no good. Having a dirty mouth and a heart of gold is like my thing. Heart of gold. Uh, wait. Do you hear that? No. What? Sc screams? Oh shit, they're already under attack. We failed. Toko, hurry! But there's an item at the end there. We can't go help them right away. Wait. Children are gathering. What's going on? I have a bad feeling about this. Alright guys, I know people are dying by the second and everything, but I can't kill the kids in this game anyway, so I'm just gonna run to get this item. Children's Paradise, Commandments 4. Inscribe on your hearts the fact that now is the most precious thing we have. Do not kill pets, pets with adorbs faces. Do not lose hope. And these are all number one, by the way. Anyone who breaks the rules will suffer the punishment. Hide your video games somewhere you'll never find them. Oof. It is a cruel punishment. Absolutely not. We can't tolerate that one. Anyway, the do not lose hope step probably doesn't sit well with Junko. That's a weird one. Those were probably written by Nagisa. Three is horrible sexual harassment case. What's the blue? 
glue on the forehead supposed to mean? What is going on just here? Out? A huge group of Monokumas ambushed us. Please, please help us. If this keeps up, the secret base is going to be totally wiped out. Secret base. Looks like there's no time to waste. I know. I'm going to do my best this time. Who else shot it there? What? Oh, it's fucking Shirakuma getting in my way again. Help me! No! Please stop! God, I suck. I'll let Shirakuma deal with that one, I guess. She keeps bumping it, so like I can't get a good headshot. Please save me! Forgive me! I'll do anything! Where is that woman? These are where the Monokumas are spawning, so. Oh shit. These have been of no use. I can't. Are they? The symbols are of no help. Because if you look that way, they immediately just bounce to other portions of the screen. Like, what the fuck? Looks like it's too late for something. We're doing really bad this time. Right after Kamara said she was going to try her best. The Monokumas. They're not coming in from where we did. Can I just not read where these faces are coming from? I really, I genuinely don't understand. Whatever. I'm gonna save this one dude. Stop! I don't wanna die! Fucking move then, dude. Ow. Just stand here and do nothing. Sure, Kuma, can you not go fucking mess with the dude that's. She's so useless! I'm dead now. Kamaru, Toko, please save everyone. I know. I will I'm if you can get out of my way. Alright, let's find the woman that was screaming in pain earlier. She must be around this corner. There she is. Hey fucker. See ya. Dance round, and he won't be uh, wailing on her. Sometimes it's necessary to use up these dance rounds so they don't run after people. Definitely not dead yet, but oh, on ammo. Nope. It's blocked my shot, dude. Go are you serious? This doesn't hurt the light. Oh, that's right. I still don't have any of these. Damn it, I killed that woman. The Monokumas. They're not coming in from where we did. Please, save me! Sorry. I would have been fine if that one thing didn't keep blocking all my shots. 
have time for you to turn all the way around. I can't believe the load screen tip was like, yeah, fuck it, let some of these people die. Face me, asshole. Not you, though. Jerakuma's gonna hit that guy in his ass and block my shot, so I don't want to deal with it. So we only have one death so far, I think. At least I thought. Come on, get out of the way. You stop, fucker. Their force is getting smaller. Just put a little more oomph in it. Easy. I only killed that one, because I hit the dance siren around her, and then the bomb guy walked over to her. But I didn't see the bomb before I did that. <sighs> Looks like it's all over. He, he, you're right. No, not yet. They want to destroy us all. They won't stop after this. They never will. Jerkuma's not a. High spirits anymore. She she's on the fucking kill the kids train. Never. I, I'm just so tired. I don't know if I can keep up anymore. Um, I have a little proposition for you. Will you hear me out? Will you kill the kids? What kind of proposition? The enemies aren't attacking from the front, but from the hole at the back of the base. To hold out against the enemy attack, we have to find some way to block the hole. Oh, so I mean, it's still technically our fault, because that's where Komaru got kidnapped from. Because that's where Kotoro broke in. Whoops. Block the hole, but how? To tell you the truth, high explosives are packed inside my body in case of emergency. No, not you, in, Shirakuma. In a suicide attack? But my self-destruct button was damaged in battle. I can't do it on my own. So, there's no choice but to ask you to do it. You... you want Kamaru to shoot you so you explode? Alright, we'll take the band-aids off so I can shoot your eye. N no I can't do it! But this is the only way to save everyone. I'm scared too, but it will be alright. It's not a dang and romper game if a friend doesn't sacrifice themselves for everybody. In chapter four. It feels strange, but thinking about saving everyone gives me courage. Maybe that's not saying much coming from an AI inside a Monokuma. But it's the truth. And if it's for everyone's lives, then I'm not scared at all. So please. But I thought Bad Haji was going to come in here coming through the hole in the back again. And be like, oh, he's going to see a shoot Sharakuma and be like, what the fuck? You assholes. You traitors. You. Please, take me to the hole and let me save everyone. Alright. It's your funeral. Literally. First, I need to check if there are any items around here, Sharakuma. I know you're, uh... There's no time. I know people are dying or whatever, but I mean, they locked me in a cell last time I was here, so I'm not, you know, I'm in no rush. We want to check around stuff. Alright, maybe there are no items here. Because it wants you to just dramatically rush after Shirakuma. But I still gotta check the place. There's another room we can check in. There's a ladder over there. Maybe there's something up there. Hmm. Maybe we can figure out some game breaking glitches before I go help these people out. Who put this fire out? Kamaru? Toko? I leave 
the rest to you. Why? Don't you have to get here? Right. What? How the fuck did you get up there? How'd you beat me up here? Shirakuma, no! Does this even work? They still like burrow Tomorrow, through. Now's your chance. Shoot me. Oh, they should have given us gameplay control over this. It would have had a more emotional impact. No, no I, I can't. I can't do it. Let's shoot her together. This Toko. Kamaru. No matter how scared you are, there are times that you have to fight. There are times you need to stand up. Times you can't be afraid of death. Do it before we lose something important. Like what? Who cares? We got Haji here and that's it. Shirakuma. But if you still think you can't. There you go. Took off those band aid straps. I'm gonna kill you! <sighs> oh, cool. Come on, shoot me! Shoot me! <laughs> <laughs> a little upset about how fast I did that. Thank you. I felt bad myself. Damn it. No, oh, it's crying. <laughs> Fucking Toko wrecked. An explosion that a bomber Monokuma would have been proud of. Huh? Toko literally dead. Oh. What just... Please tell me, Master Biakia. What? So you're awake. You guys lost consciousness after the explosion. We just kind of left you there. Um, where's Shirakuma? What happened to him? Thanks shot to him in the Shirakuma, face. the hole was blocked. His sacrifice saved us all. Aji's gonna come out here like a piece of shit that he is and go, I know you guys did it! Sacrifice? And that means... All I need is the CO2 that Master exhaled. I, I can live on just that. She got knocked on the head a little too hard. Jeez, wake up already! Huh? I like that they're really trying to counteract the sad moment that just occurred. I know AIs typically sacrifice themselves in situations like this, but I didn't think... To break out of jail and come back here. You have some courage. Shut up. You? But we're the ones who saved you. You should be thanking us. Well, most of the thanks goes to Shirokuma. Though I am willing to acknowledge that you're not spies. Th that's it? That's all you'll acknowledge? Now's not the time for this kind of argument. Does he have a zipper in the back of his jacket that would, like, split it in half? But thanks to Shirokuma, we're out of danger. For now, the problem's far from solved. What's going on? The hole those brats opened is closed now, but we have Monokumas at the front entrance. We can hold them off for a little while, but if this keeps up... How come he didn't get to main one of the student or voice one of the students in a visual novel? I really like his voice actor. Who is it? I gotta find out now. It is Matthew Mercer. I fucking knew it. So we're running out of time. Damn it. Do they really intend to destroy this base at any cost? So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna wait for an opportunity, as usual? Haiji, if we don't do something now, we... I know. I know. No matter how scared you are, there are times when you have to fight. Shirakuma literally just died. You can't give her same speech and for emotional appeal. Huh. There are times when you need to stand up and not be afraid of death. We have to do something before we lose something important. Like what? Toko, lend me your hand. Huh? Uh, okay. Greater success. Sorry. Uh, 
Is she gonna use the hey, megaphone like a megaphone? What are you doing? Um, please listen up. I use the megaphone. Huh? What is she doing? The megaphone. Um. Hello! With the megaphone. Don't cup your hands together. You got a megaphone. Get everyone's attention. Make yourself sound important. I... don't have any talent. I'm just a normal girl. Not special or anything. The speech is off to a raring good start. I suck! Please keep focusing on me. Here we go. And I know you guys don't have any reason to listen to someone like me. Everyone's normal until they do something that makes them abnormal or above average. You gotta go out there and take it. But, but, well, how do I put it? This could be Komaru's moment, but she's squandering it by letting everyone know she sucks. There's something I want to say. B because I'm a normal human with no talent. Um. <laughs> Why do you keep bringing this up? Your rally cry. Where's the encouragement here? I'm a normal human with no talent, and so are all of you? Is that where the speech is going? Uh... I... I'm sorry, I, I really don't know how to put it. Hey! Kamaru! Toko, what do I do? <laughs> Why are you asking me? You didn't plan this out? Sometimes you just gotta grab it by the seat of your pants. And go. Make some stuff up. We gotta kill kids! Ladies and gentlemen, they've killed your husbands, your wives, your children! Kill them! Then what are you up there for? Yeah, I... I don't really know. For now, let me just say this. Speak from the heart! I'm with you, so do your best. Toko... People have, like, left the speech now, right? Because she's just, like, talking to people on the side of the crowd. They're like, all right, I lost attention. It's like a YouTube video where you don't do something interesting the first two minutes. People have already clicked off it. Don't think I don't know that because of my fucking watch time. Yeah. I... I'm just like everyone here. A no-talent loser. I got caught up in something I didn't understand at all, and... I couldn't do anything. So I... I guess I'll just say to you what I wish I said to myself. Hey! How much longer are you going to be just another victim? Huh? There we go. Now it sounded like a speech. You're normal. You're weak. Ah. How much longer are you going to use those damn excuses? Well, all right. It's coming around. You're just happy to be a victim. And ignore everything around you. Are you really okay with that, you coward? Talent or whatever, that doesn't even matter. No matter how much talent or power you have, you can't avoid being scared or hurt. You let everyone else handle things that scare you and say, I can't help it, I'm normal. Are you really gonna stay that way forever? Maybe you can't help being normal. But you can't just keep using that as an excuse. If you do, if you do, someday, you're gonna lose something that's important to you, you know? Like Sharakuma, that character we saw five or six times. Oh god. And after that, it'll be too late. I'm ruining the dramatic moment. <laughs> that's where people just clicked off this video. It's obvious that we're all afraid. I'm just as scared as you are. But even though I'm afraid, I know I made the right decision to stay here with Toko. There, no one understands this part of the speech. They're like, what? I made the right decision to stay here. You had a chance to leave? Bitch, you crazy. Who, who could leave? What? Because if I just went and left her, I think I would have regretted it. I don't, this is just her talking to Toko now. Kamaru? I, along with Toko and everyone here, want a happy ending a proper happy ending that's super cliche and predictable where everyone's smiling so please please
please, let's make that ending happen. Let's stand up against this despair together. That, that's it. That's all I have to say. Sorry for being so loud. Well, <laughs> feel stupid now. You just got told by a normal high school chick. Wait here. I'm going to make some preparations. Preparations? For what? The Rebellion. Well, I have a trump card, and I might as well bet the house on it. A trump card? Oh, Togo. I feel like one of those lame kids who try to motivate everyone and fail completely. Eh, it was good enough. Not bad for your first try. Hell, I even feel a little impressed. Yeah, but you should learn some lessons from your brother who can really give an ultimate speech. I mean, she's got to have a little bit, right? Ultimate speaker? Really? I guess her whole thing has to be no talent, but whatever. Though it was painful to listen to. Haji was inspired. That's really all she had to get across. So it was awful. But it looks like you were able to motivate the cowards here a little bit. You inspired me. I never expected you to start a speech like that. Yeah, that's Biakia's voice actor. Oh, I'm sure I'll try to forget this ever happened later. But, you know, you might be right after all. Huh? Oh, hey, it's Sharakuma's severed head. Wait, hold on. What's that you're holding? Who put the band-aids back on it? What, this? It's Shirakuma, of course. Kamaru and Toko, thank you for earlier. And your speech just now was splendid, too. Shirakuma, you're alive? The only thing left is my head, but my AI chip is in there, safe and sound. It's a miracle. Yeah, I'll say it's a miracle. What? The wall was strong enough, to, or the explosion was strong enough to blow up the wall and cave in? The uh, structural support of the sewer underground and the subway system, but then her head flew off and didn't blow up. <laughs> it's not exactly a triumphant resurrection, but here I am nonetheless. I heard you sacrificed yourself, so I thought. Does she not remember shooting him in the face? Did that like get rewritten? Did we change the story like halfway through? Well, that was pretty misleading. But I'm relieved. If you're alive, then everything's fine. And I haven't lost anything important. Uh, looks like you made that traumatizing speech for nothing, then. Was it that bad? No, no, it was great. I feel like you gave everyone a little light of hope. The only bad parts about it was she kept calling herself normal and talentless and a loser and then compared herself to everyone else there. But it's still a small light. In order to make it grow, we need to do something more. Hey, the preparation's done. We gotta hurry and get out of here. Get out of here? Huh. Looks like he's finally gonna start fighting back. Is it true, Haiji? It's all thanks to you, Shirokuma. What? <laughs> Nakamaru? You risked your life for us. I finally realized what I need to do. Didn't her speech rally him? So thanks, Bear. Huh. Haiji? Looks like your speech wasn't that memorable. What the fuck? Oh, well, don't say that. And she get no credit. On. I want you two to follow me to a certain place. It's where our game-changing trump card is hidden. But it's not gonna be easy. You guys better prepare yourselves. Well, I guess I hardly have to tell you that. I'll be waiting for you at the entrance. Neat. Hey, sure, Kuma. <laughs> that speech earlier, you were so cool. You spoke so well, I got goosebumps. You've really grown since I first met you. <laughs> Not really. The reason I was able to act so cool was because of the sacrifice you made, Shirakuma. Huh? So I was that cool, huh? But you're still much cooler than me. <laughs> No, no, no. You were much more cool. Oh, God. What's going on? So how much longer are you going to keep up this modesty battle? A 
Oh, look at me running with the gun out now. This is a new animation. Holy shit. Is that a glitch? I feel like this is a whole new animation. What? Is it because she's now confident? Hello, MILF. Okay. Yep, you guys are just like I thought you'd be. Thanks to you two, the atmosphere of this place has really brightened up. It was creepy before. Hmm? Really? I don't think we made the place any brighter. Hmm. She doesn't mean it like that. She means the mood of the place. She's saying that thanks to you and Shirakuma, the ambience here has improved. Yeah. Exactly right, Fufu. You're good at explaining stuff. Anyways, thanks, guys. How is that not how you would interpret that? <laughs> Shirakuma deserves the most thanks. Huh. Maybe, but you were pretty courageous yourself, you know? <laughs> well, if you say so. Thank you. Just kidding. There, was that so hard? But I gotta say, compared to your sad face, you're much cuter like this. Oh, right. Did you find any more of those lists of people with wristbands? Should I hand over the hit list to Miss Higakure? Sure. She's trustworthy. It's fun to try and uh, realize who's related to what. This is Taka's dad, I believe, right? This is Leo's sister. This is... Oh, this is one of uh, Sayaka's singing ladies, right? One of her uh, A-pop girl club, whatever. This is Chihiro's dad. This is Celeste's Ludenberg's cat. And I don't know who this is related to. Maybe Hifumi's older brother? Oh, is she like supposed to tell me about it now? Yeah, sure, hand over. Why would I not hand these over? Could it be? Yeah, it totally is. Oh, are we gonna talk about them? I just kind of revealed who each of these people were, and now we're gonna talk about it? There's no mistaking it. This has to be her. What's going on? What are you talking about? Ayaka Hanyama. It's Ayakatsu. Hmm. What? Ayakatsu? You know her, Coco? Not personally, she's Ayakatsu, the group guardian deity from that national idol group. You don't recognize her? Who catchphrase is rock you like Aikaiatsu. Hmm. I'm butchering that name. I remember. I saw her on TV before. That idol group with Sayaka at the center. I see. Right, her group. Bringing in cash from gullible idiots like Kumaru, she can't be that talented. Well, she's dead now, so she wasn't that talented. Togo! Hey, did you just make fun of Sayaka? Ugh. I was making fun of you. Jeez. Pick on me as much as you want, but don't you dare pick on my favorite idol. Huh? Your favorite? Oh, I've got bad news. You must know, I'm a Sayaka. What? Sayaka? Sayaka has over a hundred million fans. That's why we call ourselves Sayakers. I shouldn't have to tell you that you do not want to make enemies of us. And? So what kind of things do these Sayakers do, anyway? Write fan fiction. <laughs> well, nothing specific. We're just people who like Sayaka and cheer for her, and ship her with Leon, which is disgusting. And if you do it, you are wrong. In my case, I buy CDs with merch, with my monthly allowance. And guess what? Sayaka and Makoto went to the same middle school. Isn't that amazing? She tried to... <laughs> Never mind. That's spoilers for Danganronpa 1. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. But anyway, why is Aik Akayatsu in a place like this? Alright! Miss Higakure, I put my faith in you for Sayakers everywhere. Jeez. Well, I'll do my best. A little too late for her to save him, but we can give it a shot. Hmm. Apparently, he's around Toa Tower. Did you guys run into him? Aww. We did, but before we went up to the tower... <sighs> this doesn't sound good. <sighs> yeah, it wasn't. He was attacked by a Monokuma and killed right in front of us. Unforgivable! God damn it, those little shits have no right. She dropped her cigarette. No, not just the kids. No one has any goddamn right to kill anyone. I gotta rake those brats over the friggin' coals. I see. His name was Taiyachi Fujisaki. I think I nailed that one. You're right. Yeah. Aww. He was a good man and a devoted father. He sure was. I hope his daughter is okay, at least. Awkward. Yeah, I think she's doing just fine. 
Uh, oh, also awkward. Toko knows. Hmm. This is a cat, right? I'm not going crazy, am I? <laughs> nope, that's definitely a cat. You're right. It's a cat. Hey, hey! Well, shit, I never thought a cat would end up a target. But those brats weren't originally responsible for kidnapping the captives. But they're still gonna use this cat as a target? That's pretty messed up. I think it's funny to know that this was Celeste's uh, video from the first game. This must have been the target, right? Or, like, who they were threatening for ransom if she didn't participate in the game. This was it for Celeste, because <laughs> they had her cat, and she was like, oh, fuck. Huh. Check out that name. Grand Boys is something. That's one hell of a name. Yeah, I can't tell if it's fancy long or gaudy long. Knowing Celeste, it's, uh, gaudy. It's lame is what it is. That cat owner sucks at naming. Hmm? Do you know who owns this cat? <laughs> Do I? No, I don't think so. Is she lying about mm -hmm. that? Does she- or did she not put it together? Well, even if it's just a cat, I can't just let the kids get it. I'll send someone over. Even if that cat makes it all the way home, its owner won't be waiting for it. Hmm? Jesus. I like that she implies that she knows that all these people are dead, but she's trying not to brain on the parade. So good for Toko and maturing in that aspect, at least. Did you say Nothing. something? Nothing. I just think this cat has a bad personality, that's all. I think Celeste has a bad personality. It's rude to speak of the dead like that. Alright, last one. Hifumi's brother. The uh, thing. Th -th 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 that's impossible. <laughs> what happened? Are you choking? Vacuum. Get the vacuum. <laughs> Stick a vacuum down your throat when you're choking? That'd probably just make the situation worse and suck out all the air that you got left in your throat, right? Oh. No, this woman. It says she's the author of Tarot Star Spy. Oh, it's a woman. Awkward. <laughs> hey, you can't go assuming genders in 2019. What? Tara Super? What's that? Hmm. It says she's a manga artist, so it must be the title of a manga, right? Not just any manga, a manga masterpiece. The drawings of food are so well done, it's said that the reading it will make you start to drool. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I saw my son reading it. So Teacher Second Fry was just a pen name for this woman. What a shocking scoop. Jeez, where did this enthusiasm come from? This is big news, huge news. The end of the century is the next generation of space wars. What? But. Well, if she's that famous, I kind of want to meet her. There's an opportunity. I'll be sure to get an autograph. Thank you very much. Oh, but make sure it isn't addressed to me. That will make the value go way down. Hmm. That's exactly what you would say if you were going to sell the thing. Togo! There's no way I'd sell it. Don't downplay my respective manga artists. I just want to see naked little boys. That's, come on, it's going to get taken out of contest. That's what Maru was saying. He wants to see that hentai. What's going on? You don't have to take it so seriously. All right. That's a cute little exchange we had. Oh, that's right, I gotta walk out the front now, right? I think this is probably a good spot to wrap this up, actually. Right before we begin taking the city back with Haji. Yeah, there he is, back there. Let's talk to the adults for a little bit. Um, uh... What did Mr. Haji mean when he said he had a trump card? No. Beats me. First I've heard of it either. Shouldn't you just ask him? It's far too suspicious. It's suspicious. He's had plenty of chances to use a trump card before now. Why the why didn't he tell any of the other adults about it? Um Who knows, but it is Haiji after all. I'm sure the man has secrets. Hmm. Secrets, huh? Hmm. I hope those secrets don't come back to haunt us. Ooh. Foreshadowing. Anyone else have dialogue? No, we'll listen to this guy before we end. Yeah. You're right. There comes a time when a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Your speech really touched my heart, lady. Um... Oh. Did I actually, like, say anything like that? Hmm. Well, I remember it being something like that. Alright, good talk. 
Alright, so that is going to be the end of this part. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed so far what we've been doing. Hope you look forward to the next part where we take back the city with Haji. At least I assume we take back the city or else things go off the fucking rails. Either way, stay tuned. But until then, of course, check the links in the comments below or in the description. And you can join our Discord, talk about this game and all sorts of other cool and fun things like that. We discuss all sorts of topics. Leave comments, share, subscribe, like, follow, hit the bell button, all the other YouTuber outro stuff. But above all else, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you next time. There's two Titans and two of these little trooper guys. Not little. Yeah. Don't. Thank you. Still don't have grenades. Thought I picked them up already. There's a Titan.